Hey Dragonauts, what's Dragon on? Asus Lane back here with another deck. We are taking a look at Mono Red Aggro in a slightly different variant today. Before I get into the deck, please remember to hit that subscribe button down below to stay up to date on all things related to MTG Arena from Standard Explorer. With that, let's get talking Mono Red Aggro. What are we looking to do with this deck? Well, win by like turn four or five, but this will be different than some of the Mono Red decks you may have seen on the ladder. The reason for that is we are going for a non-combat damage based advantage here. Uh, and that is in the way of Mechanized Warfare here from Brothers War. You know, if a red or artifact source we took damage, it deals a damage damage plus one. So that is going to power up your damage dealing spells, your creatures' abilities, all things that red loves to do. Direct damage to your opponent's face. What's the other way we're doing this? Well, Sultan the Mayhem Dominus. Sultan is this new card from Phyrexia All Will Be One with the sweet ability. If a source would deal non combat damage to an opponent or permanent opponent controls, deals double that damage instead. So pair that with a mechanized warfare and suddenly you were looking for plus one times two. Uh, that's a lot of damage, isn't it? Like, let's look at lightning strike. Lightning strike would deal four times two. That's like, that's eight damage for two mana. That's almost half your opponent's life total. That's insane. But it gets even crazier. That's the thing. So we are running a ton of ways to deal non-combat damage to our opponents to synergize with this Mechanized Warfare Sultan combination. You know, you, you're you familiar with Play With Fire, basically a staple and model red at these points. We're also going down the line of, and the festivities, Kumano faces Kakazan, Baron Epicure, even Chandra dressed to kill. All of these ping our opponent's face. You know, Baron Epicure with a Mechanized Warfare is two damage, partner that with Sultan, that suddenly that's four with those together. Kumano hits for four, and the festivities hits your opponent and their board for four. That's a clock and a half your opponent is on to deal with. Now, while Sulfum doesn't affect combat damage, we still want to run combat damage enablers. We need to push damage through. So we are running Monastery Swift Spears as well as Phoenix Chicks in this list. These are going to be great ways to push your damage. Phoenix Chick just coming out at the gates right away at one mana, flying in haste to attack in. Also able to be brought back from the graveyard with a plus one plus one counter, so you'll love to see it. Uh, also jamming in Felden, the random excavator here. Felden's just a good two mana two two to start swinging in. The bonus here as well is the card advantage it can give you digging deeper into the deck, which is why it's partnered with Chandra. Chandra and Ronum activate as your card advantage for the list. You can plus one Chandra, yes, for that mana, but you can also plus one her to exile the top card of your library. If it's a red card you can play and everything in your deck is red except for lands. So you want to dig to your spells, Chandra's a great way to do it. Felden will also help you dig a little bit deeper as well. So here's the strat. You've got your damage spells that play with fire and lightning strikes. You've got your damaging stuff, festivities, Kumano, Voldaire, and Epicure. You've got your creatures that'll consist consistently swing in. Monastery, Swift Spear, and Phoenix Chick. You've got your card advantage package and you've got your damage buffers. That is what puts this mono red deck in a competitive spot in the meta right now. Your opponent is just going to have to deal with suddenly two men, like two mana value sources, dealing you know, like six plus damage to them. That's not an easy thing to recover from, and it doesn't take much for this deck to really get it going. Uh, also, to kind of help in the land base here, we are rushing, running some Mistress Foundries. Uh, Foundry actually can animate to become an artifact creature, which you know is great because it gets more damage from Mechanized Warfare even more synergy. But let's talk sideboard. What are you gonna do if you were up against control? Well, thankfully against control, we have a few ways to uh, combat that. First off, the bloodthirsty adversaries, they're gonna come in. You can play them on turn five, kick them, recast a spell from your graveyard. So play with fire, lightning strike, not really in the festivities, but you know, play with fire, lightning strike. That's what you want. And again, partner that with mechanized warfare and sulfum suddenly that's another two mana, eight damage lightning strike. It's kind of good, right? So Bloodthirsty Adversary gives you a hasty action to attack in and recursion of your spells to really close the gap on your opponent's life total and ending the game. Uh, in addition to that, you will be jamming in Squeeze and Urbrusk's Forge. You just want consistent threats that can be replayed or used again over and over because your opponent's going to spend resources and you'll be able to replay your threats faster than their resources will be drawn. And then you'll win, that's the idea. If you're up against reanimate base decks, uh, especially like the Attracts of Rakdos one that's been going around, 
I do suggest bringing in the Abrade and the Unlicensed Hearse. Uh, Hearse is also just very beneficial against any deck utilizing the Graveyard. Mono Blue Temple, for example, you just eat up all their spells. Jin doesn't have any bonus attack. Galarian Terror is still like seven mana. So very beneficial in that way. Uh, in your mid-range matches, uh, you know, Bloodthirsty Adversary and Squee really can come into play. They're just extra threats for using things and pushing damage through. You will also notice we are playing a one-off of the Urbrask Heretic Crater here. Urbrask is a card advantage engine that we can pull into the deck to work to disrupt our opponent's draws and push us ahead with two extra draws a turn. Uh, I tend to bring in Urbrask more against the control matches and sometimes against aggro decks just because it is a five mana four four haste. But Dragonauts, that is mono red. So please enjoy the games. And the Phoenix trick is nice with play with fire and lightning strike follow up. I am going to keep one mountain into a Kumon. Opponent playing Stormcap Coast. This could be Is It, could be Crixus. It is Cheskai. Uh, I don't like that as much. See if Phoenix shit gets resolved here. This might just be Make Disappear. Which two to face at least. I found that saying Burr while attacking really helps. <laughs> I believe it, Ari. It's like when you add, uh, you know, playing cards to the back of your bicycle, it makes the bicycle go faster. Ah, uh, Fable's fine. Laying down, about to go to bed. 3 Ooh, 3 a.m. sucks, man. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Lightning Strike the 2-2. Two -two. Just deny them the treasure token. Because what we have here is Sokens on into Warfare. And this is six damage to face at the opponent at 11. We've got Chandra into Kamano faces Kakuzan next turn to push four more damage. Exactly. <laughs> uh, war sucks, but that's fine. I accept it. I'm still just gonna go ahead and do this. I hope you like your Extra Let me just play Kamano faces Kakuzan, put them down to seven. I hope seem good. 17 Simic Raw Priest in a row. Oh my goodness. Oh, God, that's disgusting. Now I'm literally waking up at 7 p.m. Scoop, that is so you. How you doing today, bud? Welcome in. Happy Tuesday. Hope you're keeping well. So I'm liking the fact they haven't hit any artifacts. That's, uh, that's a good thing. I don't like this other Fable coming in, but, uh, you know, end the festivities here is kind of nice. So I'm going to go ahead and cast that first. Uh, wipe out their board a bit. Uh, plus some Chandra. Get them down to a nice, easy three. Go ahead and Lightning Strike them for the lethal, and uh, we'll go to game two. So game one, damage in and damage done. Game two here, we think the opponent is playing like Jeskai Reanimator. So what I'm bringing in here is Unlicensed Hearth and Squee. Uh, Hearth to eat their graveyard. Squee so we can recast because board clears and other items are probably a thing. Uh, and we have just taken out a uh, Swiss Spear, a Phoenix Chick, and a Felden. And we're gonna go ahead and see how game two goes. Let's go. I mean, it's your Friday. Let's still let's go. <laughs> Ooh, we have Soul Foam. I like, I like. Uh, popping this land, playing this Kamano Faces Kakaman, and uh, pass it. Well, see, I'm not allowed to play her in my commander pod calling her mommy is apparently weird. What? Really? That's literally her name. Quite literally, Mother of Machines. So I'm not playing in the Unlicensed Hearth just yet. I'm just going to pushing damage first. More than likely, I'll probably play in Hearth next turn. My thought is here the opponent actually has a Faithless, the Faithful Mending, sorry. So we'll make our judge call based on uh, what gets discarded. It was just a couple Faithful Mendings, so that's fine. If that's the case... Um... We're not really getting any treasure, so I'm gonna just go and squee here. Just put pressure in, damage. It's like, this is 8 damage in. 
They'll probably use one of those from the... Yep, so they'll go to 11. And then this is where they're probably going to have to play like an Elder Dragon War in order to wipe up the board. Or Brotherhood's End. If they do that, that'll let me play an Unlicensed Search and start attacking the Greybeard. So they discarded a war in a Cityscape logo. That's good to see. My guess is the second one. So this will be deal two to everything. And I am just going to play in the Unlicensed first here. And we're going to hold off and I will just pass the turn. I don't think I want to do it. I want to see what they go to discard. Tell my friends that I'm more amazed there isn't a super. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me one day, Darth. Wouldn't surprise me one day. So if they try to go for repair or charge here, we just unlicense her and. Fine. Fine. Just like that, right? It's that easy. So they can have a 4-4 here, that's fine. Really just want to hit that extra land so I can get Squee out again. They have that and that. Cool, now we got a 4-4 on License Herd. You can have an 88 Dragon, that's fine. Warfare off the top? No, I don't think that's what I'm going to want at this point. Put them to six. Uh, I will play in Swift Spear. Say no attacks and pass the turn. Mending's fine. They go to eight. Discarding a lockdown. Let's go ahead and eat the lockdown and the invoke justice. Yeah, I love Prowess. Prowess is fantastic. Prowess is absolutely fantastic. The opponent at 10, eh? More lockdowns. <laughs> wow, alright. Uh, that's fine. I'm just gonna cast in Chandra here and. I'll put the opponent down to a nice, cool 9 damage. Say no attacks and pass the turn. I'm not playing the end of festivities yet, because I want to use the end of festivities to trigger Prowess on the Swiss Spear to crew the unlicensed hers. Mentor my decks. Yo, yeah. Yo, yeah. Monastery Swiss Spear gets disgusting real fast. Attacking Chandra? Sure, that's fine. I'm actually all right with that. I can live with that. Take your lockdown. Let's take your lockdown. And now I just get lethal. So we end the festivities here. Put the opponent to 8, through, and with the unlicensed herd, get 8 damage in. Let's go. <laughs> Kali is versus other 3. I need a combo for all kill 3. I mean, uh, you could do Kali infinite combat. That's one some people play. That of Rebirth. Oh, this is a Traxa. This is a Traxa reanimator, sure. We're gonna play Kumano first and go Phoenix Chick and hold up play with fire. So that seems fine. Harvester is fine. I just misplayed. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. I'm just gonna have to lightning strike it. Yo, Calper! 
Welcome in for those three months. I don't know why the alert's not going off, but Calper, thank you so much, friend. Welcome on back. Mishra's fine. You're our third subscription of the week, Calper. Let's freaking go, my friend. Yeah, I, I misplayed by not playing Silk and Zon. That was horribly on me. Uh, the nice thing is we can just play with fire. Not right now, but I think I'm going to go for Mechanized Warfare first. And just poke in three. Because we have End the Festivities that can just wipe the board. The week is young. The week is very young. This is true. It doesn't look like they're going to loot, so they're just... Uh, doing that, which means my end of festivities here is going to look nice and pretty. Ooh, I'm going to get greedy. Yeah. One mechanized to warfare. And I'm going to hold up one more turn. I'm going to play in a Phoenix chick here. Hey, what's going on, Squirrel? How you doing tonight? Welcome in. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Get the damage there. Down to 15. Now play with fire and the festivities are looking real solid. Uh yikes. And they just get to bring back a track, so that sucks. Damn. That sucks. You gotta activate it. That's game. It's game one. Yeah, we could have killed the Traxa, but the card advantages, that's going to be generated. Really puts us at it. It's advantage to take down the opponent. So going into game two here, we are bringing in a Braids and Pleasance first. This is going to let us eat away the Graveyard and that Traxa. So hopefully we don't see it reanimated. And a Braid is going to let us deal with the Vat, so we can just blow it up. I don't have to worry about it. So let's go ahead and see how game two goes. Itchy. We're taking the play. Um... I'd like to see a two drop, but I don't mind the initial start here with Kumano out. Nice, we top deck something anyways. Um I'm just playing Mistress for now. We'll cast in Swift Spear and make it a two three. This is probably cut down. Alright, not cut down. Blood Tithe Harvester, sure. We're gonna go ahead and Lightning Strike that Blood Tithe Harvester to get that out of the way. And I'm also just gonna play in the bowl there and Epicure generate a Blood Counter. And push these for six. Doesn't let me see the library of the opponent after game. Ooh. Yeah, that's weird. I wouldn't thought it would have. Would have thought it would have, so that is odd. Voltage surge, sure. Take it. Uh, let's cast this in. Let's go ahead and make it two two, and we'll attack in for five. And yeah, I'll just end the turn. I'm gonna hold back lightning strike and festivities for the moment. Play this in. Uh, try to go to combat first. Sure, Soken Zon's fine. Double blocking there is fine too. So Puts them to five. Uh, I'll pass the turn. Fable of the Mirror Breaker, great sign. That playing even better. Lightning striking down to three. Mirror at two, pass the turn, get the concede, and we go to game three. Hey, game two went much, much smoother than game one. Going to game three, I'm not making any changes. We're gonna run right in there. Let's see how we feel like. It's a Jun Brew, and it's a great spice. 
I'm gonna keep Kimono and Felden are nice here. We're just gonna play Kimono faces Kakazan on one. And then uh, get in Felden here on turn two. Playing Harvester I'm actually fine with. Mostly because what I want to do is just get this 3-3 Felden going and force the block, because if they do, this is 3 damage now. Now I get to look at the next 3 cards. And I want to take the guaranteed land drop, so I'm going to take the Mistress Brown 3. Is this deck better than the other mono red? Um... I don't know if I would say better. It's, uh... Yeah, I don't know that I would say better, honestly. Uh, what do I want to do here? I want to save that for the bat, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and Lightning Strike the 2-2. Two -two. Play out Phoenix Trick here. I kind of prefer the other Mono Red List in honesty. I think the other one is uh, a little bit better myself. But this one certainly does a good job. Like, we're, we're hitting in strong damage here. Alright. We're going to want to Mechanize Warfare for sure. I'm just going to go ahead and play Enchandra here to start. Plus them up, hit them to 15. And cast in our Felden. And let's just attack in for 5. Okay. I'm down to 12. They didn't discard anything. Ah, Flesh Gorger. You. That's fine. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and animate our 2 2 here. Let's go ahead and destroy that Flesh Gorger. And send in 5 damage to base. They're really not wanting to give me cards with that Felden. Right, Anvil's annoying. They'd have to use an Anvil to eat an Anvil. And I, I can frankly live with that. Because this is where our end of festivities is going to be nice. We wipe out those guys. I'm just going to attack with three. Pass the turn. Uh, let's go ahead and Lightning Strike base, get them down to four. Play in this Phoenix trick. Aspa's gonna put them right down to two. Feels real good here. We attack in. They have to block with Kiki on the Felden now. And there's a chance this two damage just finds us one damage with here. And just like that, it finds us lethal. Let's go. There's game three. I mean, Oni eats itself, but it's still. Like, this is game three. It's, this, this is it. They, they have no way to heal. So, like I said, it's game three. It's 100% better variant. We're taking the play. Uh, one, two... Yeah, I can keep this. We're gonna go, uh... Yeah, I'll go Swiss Spear first here, actually. Pop in for one. We're going to switch up to uh, some Mardu, I think, after this. I'm going to go play Felden in. So we attack for three, right? I don't think they block. They do block, right? Take that, that's fine. 
Another Yoshin's fine. Calper, wait, Stream Elements is okay. Oh, now Stream Elements is here. <laughs> oh, Stream Elements, you are a special, special bot. Okay, Magically Stream Elements is now back and finally working. So thank you, Stream Elements, for joining us once again. <laughs> Maddie, thank you so much once again for the raid. I do appreciate it. And I hope everyone from Maddie's stream is having a great Tuesday night. Uh, we are working through testing different decks in Arena. And I've just been kind of going through the a little bit of aggro phase. You know, since this is the first day. Uh, that's fine. We have a lightning strike. And still have a lightning strike. Playing the land. I'm playing in Kumano for the moment. I'm not playing a Phoenix Chick. I want the Phoenix Chick to get the bonus plus one plus one next turn to really solidify the lethal against what they've got going on for this turn. Okay, because all they've got is Adeline. So we Phoenix Chick in. Now we represent three damage in the air. This forces Adeline to block Felden. Otherwise, this is just game. And then this block with Adeline should dig me in for a lethal card, hopefully. Not any more land. It's tapped, so you can't block. Cool. So we just take game one there. So game one, right quick and in. We love doing the damage we can do. Uh, we're going to bring in four Bloodthirsty Adversaries here, and we'll see how it goes. Cut the mountain minus eight. You, you are crazy. Don't suggest that. <laughs> Did you know you can do it, uh, let me strike two, the special rainbow behind the card? Oh, I know what you're referring to. I actually open up packs with a card like that. Like, uh, wolf, like, no lie. Uh, Chaplain's fine. I'm just gonna play Phoenix Chick in here. Go for three. Like, it's only a first striker, like, I'm not worried. Reinforcements main cast? Wow. Sure. Um, and the festivities? Token for one, past the turn. Another reinforcements, sure. I'm curious as to the main phase resolute reinforcements here. But, uh,. I mean, it is what it is, right? Uh, let's just do Warfare in. So, does it show it on the battlefield with the lands? The updated lands? The updated lands. Uh... Okay. Sure, it's a lot of damage, but I mean... I kind of just also have, like, my own lethal coming up. Uh, it does, yes. So, like, when you update your lands to be the specific one, it'll show. The lands in this deck, I didn't update to be those specific ones. I kind of have my own. I'm just going to take it. Put them in. I don't really want to come on on the top. I really want to Swiss Spear on the top. I'd love to see an end of festivities. But I think this should still just be lethal. Right? Because now I can just end the festivities, and then that wipes the board. And then I just attack in, and bam, still win. So I, that, that works. Dragonauts, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. It is always appreciated. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date on all things related to MGGA that we are producing out. Uh, mostly deck text, but you know, nonetheless, super appreciated to do. And as always, keep believing. I'll see you next time.